welcome to another short tutorial on how to create makeup for TV and film and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how to make a severed limb or a severed finger. This look is quite easy to create, this is why I'm just doing it myself but obviously you can transfer what you've done yourself and the skills that you use to someone else as well. Let's get started and cut my finger off. <laughs> so first what you want to do is you want to grab some scar wax. So what you're going to do with the scar wax is you're going to take some out of the pot and then just roll it into a donut shape. For this I'm just taking some tweezers and grabbing as much scar wax as I can. And also take a little bit of moisturiser and then rub them into your tips of your fingers so the scar wax doesn't stick to your fingers. So once you've done that, take the scar wax and you want to start gently just mould it into a ball. And then if you needed to grab some more, just take what you need. So once you have a little round ball, you just want to grab some more moisturiser and put them in the palms of your hands to roll out the scar wax that you just made into a ball. So you just want to roll that into your hands to create a sausage. And then once you've created a sausage, you just want to put that to the side. So once you've made the little sausage shape, you want to grab some liquid latex. And for this, you just want to grab it onto a sponge and then just put it round your finger. Now this is going to help the scar wax adhere to your skin and make a stronger bond from the skin to the scar wax. So you want to leave that till it goes a bit tacky. So you want to grab the sausage and then you just want to place that. You just want to make it into a circle. Just like so. And you want to place it around your finger. Now with a spatula, or I've just got a pair of tweezers here, I'm going to start blending the scar wax and smoothing it into my skin. So once you're happy with the blend, you just want to go ahead and take some moisturiser and just smooth the edges out furthermore. So once you've blended that, you just want to go ahead and just cover the whole thing in liquid latex. The, the liquid latex is going to help the scar wax set onto the skin. So once you apply the liquid latex, just give it about 5 minutes so that it can dry. So once the latex is dry, you just want to go ahead and match the scar wax to your skin colour. So I'm just taking two colours that match my skin and just blotting that onto the scar wax. And then you just want to go ahead and set that with some translucent or white powder. Now for the last step, which is fake blood. You can either add loads or as little as you want. I'm going to go ahead and make it really gruesome, so I'm going to lose loads of blood. But just but go ahead and use as much as you want. So first I'm going to apply it to the inside. So I've applied it inside there and then also I'm just going to dot it around the rest of my finger. I'm also just going to apply some blood to my other fingers so it looks like the blood has splattered everywhere. So there you have it, the severed finger, cut off finger. It's the easiest look to do because all it involves is a bit of scar wax, latex and a bit of fake blood and then you're done. So I hope you've enjoyed this short tutorial and stay tuned for more makeup for TV and film.